rise and shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. And here is a look at Longview with our Skyview camera brought to you by the Monsoor Law Firm. We are seeing partly the mostly cloudy skies out there this morning. Temperature wise right now we're sitting at 62 degrees, so it is warm. It is also a bit humid out there with the dew points in the lower 60s. Now we do have some severe weather threats to talk about. The first one is tomorrow. Most of our area underneath that level two out of five slight risk, which means a few strong to severe thunderstorms are possible, but at this point widespread Severe weather is not expected. And then as we head into your day on Friday, the risk of severe weather moves farther to the south and a slight risk is in place for deep east Texas, a level two out of five once again. Uh, again, mainly during the first half of the day is where we are going to see the severe weather threat for our Friday. In terms of a breakdown of the threats, damaging wind gusts around 70 miles per hour, large hail up to tennis ball in size, and then uh, are the two primary threats, but a tornado and flash flooding also cannot be ruled out. Those threats are just a bit lower. Again, the time frame for this is Thursday afternoon. We may get a slight break overnight, but then by Friday morning, we'll see the storms fire up again. Here's what Futurecast has going forward. Now we'll start with today, though. We'll see uh, a few showers out there, mainly in our westernmost areas, maybe a rumble of thunder, but shouldn't be as widespread as what we saw yesterday. By Thursday morning, we're mainly dry, but by 10 a.m., We'll start to see a few showers developing and then widespread thunderstorm development expected as we head into the afternoon. So uh, most of us will see some storms at some point for the day on Thursday and uh, clusters of thunderstorms will develop through the evening and into the first half of the overnight hours. Like I said, we might get a slight break in the early morning hours on Friday, but then by the late morning and early afternoon, we'll see more showers and storms develop primarily in deep east Texas. I think we'll see better coverage there than what Futurecast is showing, but the threat should come to an end after about 2 o'clock in the afternoon on our Friday. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. We'll see those highs in the 80s the next couple of days here with that severe weather threat for Thursday lasting into Friday for deep east Texas. Then we're going to dry things out for the day on Saturday, but it is going to be cooler with highs only in the upper 60s. Showers become possible during the day on Sunday and then some isolated showers can't be ruled out Monday and a Tuesday with those highs warming back up for deep east Texas. It is more of the same that severe weather threat uh, returns on Thursday, but could last into the day on Friday, especially again in southern portions of our area. We'll be dry for Saturday and then more showers return on a Sunday with those highs warming up into next week. I think it is safe to say spring has sprung. Yeah, we're now warm uh, pretty much. We will be cooler for the weekend, but definitely with those severe weather threats coming up, it is certainly feeling like spring. All right, Andrew, I know you keep your eye on it. Thank yeah, you. No problem. Well, you